All the configuration, creating the necessary infrastructure will be taken care of by Databricks Cloud transparently. To demonstrate this capability, I'd like to invite to our closest partners. First, I like to invite Justin Langset, the CEO of the Zoom Data, which will demonstrate an analytics visualization and exploration tool built for big data from the ground up. Please welcome Justin. Thanks, Jan. So I'm Justin, CEO of Zoom Data. Uh, Zoom Data, if we could go to the uh, demo screen here in the back, guys. Thank you. So Zoom Data is a next generation business intelligence tool. We're trying to make reporting and dashboarding super easy for normal business people. Not you guys, but the actual normal business people that uh, need to benefit from all the great data that you guys are helping to prepare. So uh, it's been great to see the BI community really uh, embrace Spark SQL and start to use it. But what most BI tools do is they run Spark SQL and then they pull the results into a proprietary BI server, often Windows based, and then they do reporting, slicing, dicing, uh, pivoting, things like that, kind of in that proprietary server. At Zoom Data, we don't do that. We instead leverage Spark directly to do all these operations. So that makes us very, very scalable and very, very fast. It also means that we depend on Spark. So like human beings depend on air, Zoom Data actually depends on Spark to operate, which makes partnering with Databricks a very important thing for us to do. Uh, so in partnering with Databricks, they talked about this new application section available in the Databricks cloud, and we knew it would be very important to be embedded inside that Databricks application section. So I'm going to give you a demo now of how that actually works. Zoom data embedded inside, running inside the Databricks cloud, natively hooking up to data that's in the Databricks cloud. So I have a uh, Databricks notebook here. And in the Databricks notebook, I have a variety of tables. One of these tables has some retail point of sales transaction data. Uh, this is actually a billion rows of data, so it's not a small data set by any uh, stretch of the imagination. And I can show you that here if I go into this uh, notebook. I can just run a click uh, select star and count star. And so we see the data, and we also see the one billion some odd rows of data. So a lot of data sitting here in Databricks, uh, Databricks Cloud. So in notebooks, I can do interactive analysis, kind of more for a uh, more technical kind of analyst. But what we have now here is this application section. And inside here, we have Zoom data set up. So just by clicking on Zoom data, I launched into the Zoom Data interface. And here inside Zoom Data, running, running inside the Databricks Cloud, we have access to all those tables that were present in the Databricks Cloud account. So I have this uh, different sales data and other uh, data automatically just sitting here. And I can see the types of visuals that I could immediately launch into through Zoom Data. So I'm going to launch into that billion rows of data and just bring it up initially in a pivot table. And here's the results. You can see at the bottom the one billion rows. And since this is a pivot table, let's go ahead and pivot. And thanks to the power of Spark and the speed of Spark and Zoom Data, the way it runs on top of it, I can perform these pivot operations on top of the billion rows nearly instantaneously. I can also drill down. So if I see some values here I'm interested in, I could zoom in and break this out by zip code. And again, literally within a few seconds, I get the results. And this is uh, very, very fast for a billion rows of data. And doing it this quickly is just uh, very, very great, because as humans, they have kind of three-second attention spans. And if you don't give them results in three seconds, they get bored and go do something else. So now that I have this result, I can go and change the different types of visualizations, or I could quickly build up a dashboard by taking data from the same source or a different source and start to lay out a dashboard. Now, once I've laid out a dashboard, I might want to give access to this to lots and lots of end users. Maybe hundreds or thousands of users in my organization might want to access this, uh, this dashboard. And so that's where Zoom Data comes in to really make that scalable and make that secure. So we're using uh, LDAP and single sign-on and things like that and row-level security. We can really lock down this data, but also make it super easy for users to see and interact with data, even at these very large scales. So here's a dashboard running on the same billion rows in Databricks Cloud. I can see a uh, scatter plot. If I want to change any of the values, I can just click and touch on anything I'm interested in and say I want to filter all the rest of the visuals by California. And again, nearly instantaneously, uh, all the rest of the visuals have upgraded, uh, updated. So very, very, very fast interactive analysis of huge amounts of data um, powered by the underlying technology. 
If my data is not yet in Databricks Cloud, Zoom Data's connectors to the Amazon stack, to Elasticsearch, to Solar, to SQL and Hadoop engines, uh, and to legacy data uh, warehouse technology as well to help bring that, all that data together. And Zoom Data also supports uh, real-time data. So I'll just show you one last thing here. And this is a real-time dashboard. And it's the same sales transaction data, but it's streaming in real time. So I can zoom into the current hour here, 9 AM. I can actually watch these uh, sales transactions as they're streaming in. Or I can go and look at uh, the data live here. So this is live data for the rolling hour. And I can watch it live, or I can rewind to historical data, and then fast forward uh, back through the history, and eventually just snap back to the live data stream. So we call this a data DVR. So that's a little bit about uh, Zoom data. Uh, Zoom data's integration with the Databricks Cloud is available in beta uh, today. If you're interested, you can go to this URL or contact Zoom data or Databricks or stop by our booth here at the conference. Thank you.